Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and this is a question that actually two questions that came together in um, the last 24 hours concerning the privacy settings and um, the most important privacy setting that I would think people might want to play with or change in Windows 10 and we're going to talk about you know this is valid for all Windows 10 versions that are actually uh, supported right now. But the questions were more specific to Windows 10 21 H2. But the settings haven't changed in a long time. One of the things to maybe look at just to make sure if you have changed the privacy settings and um, you have updated to a new version, a new, um, you know, build like 21 H2. It could be useful to just go back and make, do a double check that everything stayed like you wanted. Uh, so in Windows 10, the most important privacy setting for me, if I had to you know, complain about privacy settings and privacy in general in Windows 10 would be, uh, so if you go into the privacy tab, on the left side, the diagnostics and feedback option. Uh, the diagnostics and feedback is what sends the most telemetry from your computer. And so for a lot of people, you might want to keep it at required diagnostics data and nothing more, which means that it Microsoft will get some of the information about how well the system behaves, how well the apps are behaving, crashes you might have experienced, and, uh, you know, the minimum of information, but to know that some apps or whatever is working, is working fine or not. Uh, optional diagnostics data is a more, is a lot more intrusive and could possibly have sensitive information depending on how your computer crashed or had problems. Uh, this optional diagnostics sends a lot more data to Microsoft when something happens, including a snapshot of RAM memory and stuff like that. Um, I'm not one of those that believes Microsoft spies on everything you do because if you just think about it, it would be impossible. The sheer number of users and data would be impossible to parse through. And uh, it has been shown many, many times. Second, Microsoft is zero interested in what you do. They are interested in selling you as much of their services and products and that's all. That's why they make money. Um, that's it. So um, I leave mine at optional diagnostics because I don't care of all the telemetry you'll get from my computer. Um, but a lot of you might want to just be at required, send a minimum amount of information to Microsoft uh, by using required diagnostics data. Uh, that would be if I had to choose one of the um, really the privacy settings that is the biggest problem for me would be, well, diagnostics data. Check that out and uh, make sure that it's all right. Of course, diagnostics data is um, there to be, uh, you know, important to help Microsoft. Now, um, you can have that data removed from Microsoft if you want. Um, when you are on diagnostics data, what happens is that in the diagnostics data, you can go to the privacy dashboard that you see on the right side of your computer. The privacy dashboard is Microsoft's own page about everything privacy that is about your personal data. You sign in and you will know everything that they have received in data uh, in there. You can even ask Microsoft to erase everything that was sent to their servers for the past months and they will actually do it and um, you know if you believe it or not that's a different thing but uh, this is uh, there is a way to actually uh, delete the data that's been sent out and um, that's it you if you want you can uh, you have control over that for the rest i don't see what important data people could have that you want to remove them and um, I think it's a, a overhyped um, 
problem of privacy. Uh, you know, your phone and and your your phone, your and and many other devices you have snoop on you way more than whatever Microsoft looks at here. Uh, the di diagnostics is purely for making sure and checking out how you know Windows behaves, and that's why they have blockers. They know that they have to put blockers, or that your system shouldn't upgrade to something uh, for sure. For the rest, like. Um, the question asked, should I, you know, is something changed in here? What I would do is go through the general, check if all the switches are like they were before. Um, and, of course, in speech and inking uh, and all of that. Just make sure that all of it is, um, is of course, um, for sure the same that you set it. Uh, depending on what level of privacy you wish to attain. I want to remind everybody that uh, the uh, diagnostics and feedback can be required but cannot be switched off. Maybe Microsoft would win points if they um, would actually accept to have an on-off switch. You know, there would be so many people that don't even know it exists or don't really care that um, I don't think that many people would switch it off. And it would actually help in their image because those that do want to switch it off at least would have a way to do it. And probably that is the biggest controversy since Windows 10 has been released. So privacy settings in Windows 10 21 H2 pretty much the same. Just verify that they haven't changed while updating from your preferred privacy settings. And like I said, diagnostics and feedback would be if I had to choose one of the privacy settings that could be the most impactful and have the most data about what's happening on your PC and possibly about you, it would be the diagnostics data. Just put it at the, uh, you know, minimum, the required data only. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.